that, I want to get my line straightened out, so I'm going to actually use the Connecticut Brigade uh, as my lead unit. He's a plus one, and then if you look at the leaders, you'll see the numbers. They've got three numbers. They've got a combat modifier, a morale modifier, and a movement strength. So the combat modifier, and some of them are zero, although I think most of the British leaders are, are ones. Yeah, they are. And Washington is a one. So you add your combat modifier if you're in a hex with one of the attacking units to the morale. So essentially, you're a plus two morale. I'm a plus two morale, so that's even. Now, the next thing we're going to do is pick a tactics chit. So open up to that tab up there that says tactics. Yeah. Okay, open that up. And then on your uh, player aid, you see the tactical matrix, right? Yes. Okay. So this is this is kind of you know, one of the games within the game chance to outthink your opponent. Now, without a leader, you're limited to choosing the, the first four chits, skirmish, attack, and national on stand fast, withdraw. Because I've got a leader, I can pick from the next two, frontal assault and commit reserve. And because we have what we call an open flank, i.e. there's a empty hex right there or right there I can pick all eight so you're kind of limited in what you can choose I've got the whole range and scope what we're going to do is pick a chit and throw it out on the board and then we'll both reveal it and see if there's any additional modifiers to the combat Okay, give me just one second here I want to think about this because um, this is actually one of my favorite parts of the game so I'm going <laughs> to uh, take a quick look so I can understand this Sorry, I keep forgetting I got an open mic here. That's no problem. Um, all right, so go ahead. Yeah, right click it and go to uh, mask unmask. <laughs> that'll, that'll zero out. I thought you'd do a full frontal attack there for sure. What? All right, let's right, go on. Yep. Okay. So, turn flank so is zero to zero. remember, Charles, well, but remember now, you could not choose the turn flank. You're limited to the the top four because you have no leader oh okay so, so oh, all that I happens see. in that case is if you pick a, a chit you can't pick the opponent gets a plus one so okay. Fair enough. so what so what I'm going to do on the table and it's going to be modified by a plus one nice oh, crap. Okay, so that becomes, so if you look down, a, a 1 becomes a 2, and that becomes a pin result. Um, and gee, I was hoping for a whole lot better than that on the first turn, attacking a 4 to 1. So, what I'm going to do, I don't think I'd do this in a tournament, but what I'm going to do is spend my momentum chit. There we go, move it to 0, to re-roll that attack. So, let's re-roll okay. it. Ah, now that's much better. <laughs> so that nine, be yep, so that nine becomes a ten. So you see, the result is attacker captured. So essentially, yeah, essentially, what that would mean is, um, if there were more than one unit there, I could pick which unit I wanted to take. I wouldn't have to take your lead. And if you look over to the left and see that dot, it means I get that momentum chip back. I get a momentum chip for that. So okay, for, for capturing that chip. unit. And I am going to capture that fella. Okay. Now, you'll notice what that did was that moved the morales back up and down. Plus one to me, minus one to you. So it's back to all even. And because it's a plus two unit that was a plus two morale unit that was captured, right. I pick up another momentum chit. So that's. That's pretty big for me. Now, at the end of combat, you always have to move your lead unit into the vacated hex. Okay. Now, if he was a one, two, or three, four strength unit, I could move other units in there, but you always have to move at least your lead unit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave Washington back here, and the reason why is because Washington is adjacent now to Silly's pick, the Connecticut Brigade, and Glover's Brigade, 
he won't be able to provide that leadership bonus to those hexes if they're attacked. Right. But what he can't. But what what happens with the leaders is if they're adjacent to a unit, they enable them to use all of their tactics chit. So it's like he's you know providing command leadership from uh, you know behind all these units. Uh, so all those guys will get to use full tactics if you choose to attack in your turn. I just can't use Washington's uh, 